welcome back to Super Hostile Spellbound Caves 2. I jumped up into the chandelier because I could. Anyways, we have quite a few things to look at starting today. As you can see with all these chests that we have laid out. First up, the chest of things that we got last episode. We got a charged astral diamond, and I might have had this other one already. That is two charged astral diamonds. Let's look at what we can do with these. We can make an imbuement altar. Already have one of those. Probably not going to do that then. We make an orb. Increases sorcery spell potency by 0.45%, reduces other element spells potency by 50%. That's supposed to be 45%? Because 0.45% is not a lot. Activate ability. Shaking the orb releases powerful shock wave. Earthquake. Maybe with these weird orbs. The other parts of the orbs aren't too expensive. Orb of Impenetrable Darkness. And it's a bobble slot. You can slightly increase. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be 45%. That would not be a very good bobble if it increases your healing by less than half of a percent. Shake the orb. I'm not sure how you would shake the orb when it's in your bobble slot, but probably not something we're going to be too interested in right now. We can make the Everfull Flask of Mana. It fills itself. Although our wands already fill themselves themselves, so. Don't know if that's super necessary. Pendant of Eternity. You can also chosen bust spell forever if you have your wand on your hop bar with a spell bound to it. Ooh. So that would get that could give us permanent night vision. But it's easy enough to just keep reapplying that, so. Probably want to use one, the charged astral diamonds for something more useful, and two, a different amulet than that. Loop of Reach. One grants plus one spell range modifier, increased mana cost by 25%. So that is a ring that would give me better range on my spells. Bigger blasts on the spells. Orb of power. 20% spell potency for all spells. Increased mana cost by 20%. And has jewels of power. Look at these jewels of power. Dread Knight's sword. We need some dread shards. Don't think I have those. We can make spawn eggs. Looks like just any random spawn egg. And then that many Astro Diamonds can you one Enderman spawner? That seems a little expensive. I guess if you really, really want an Enderman, I mean, go for it. Let me look into these Jewels of Power. Because if this gives 20% spell potency, Looks like you could put jewels into it or something. Jewel. Power. Ring of power. Amulet of power. And these all say, these rings of power say jewels of power, zero four. And Emerald of Power. Emerald Fragment. It's an 
ice and fire sapphire. Yeah. Um, like maybe we could try making the flask of mana. Depending on how much we use the wand, that could be useful. Besides that, not super enthralled by the ast charged astral diamonds there. The regular astral diamonds, we will get to in a bit. Actually, incredibly useful right now. Next up, we had some diamond horse armor, which is always nice to have. Because we have three total diamonds right now, and three little diamond fragments. When the diamond horse armor melts down into just so much. Also made some iron ingots. 36 more diamond fragments. Fantastic. There it is. Four more diamonds. Not that we really need diamonds right now. But I guess we could upgrade maybe the helmet. I mean, we don't have enough to feel confident that we could get something decent. The last thing you want to do is go on a reforging spree and end up with a poor item. That's just less than ideal. We got a Ninetales doll. And this Troll's Hammer. Look at these. Just put this over with our other one. Can we see all the different dolls here? Yeah, there they are. We got Creeper, Indigo, Slime. Just a regular maid, Dullahan, Mermaid, Ninetales, and Dryad. Okay. Fun. We got this tr Troll's Hammer, a legendary weapon. It's rare. It does a bit more damage, but so much slower. But it does look pretty impressive. Now we're going to be using them, of course. It's also rare, which is equivalent. That's nice. Very fun. We got these small stone tablets. Which are from the ancient relics. Let's see if there's anything we can do with these. Small stone tablet. Any magic crystals? Probably needs magic crystals. Magic crystals. The big ones with the enchantment actually did something. You can research the solar crystal. This glyph, you have gained some insights of ancient magic. It's a power crystal. Cool. And this one? You feel like the symbol and the relic glowed. Enchant of Respiration 2. Okay. So it's much, much the same as the other crystals, except these ones are probably going to give weaker enchantments. Interesting. You got this flare gun, which is only useful in making an astral diamond. And again, I will take some more astral diamonds today. We got this book of memory, which gained 10 levels, which we don't want to do right now. Under the assumption that it gives a static plus 10 levels. So we want to do that. Probably the next time we come back with 60, 70 plus levels. And we just jump up straight to 80. That'd be a solid choice. Then we have some book of face, music discs. Enchanted book is Sharpened 2, Magic Protection 2. More hats. It's a rare hat. Bobble head. All that stuff. Fun. And then we have these three very nice loot crates. For the Astral Ranger, Warrior, and Mage. Charm of Magical Dieting. A Dragon Bone. And Wand of the Sorcerer. Cool. Three Dragon Bones. Fantastic. 
pop those in with our other dragon bones. When out of mana, hunger can be used to cast spells. I'm using. It's got projectile damage, speed, magic damage. Not super necessary. Here's the Wand of the Sorcerer, plus 45% sorcery potency. And it's quality poor for negative 10% magic damage. Fantastic. Oh, these have quality? Or maybe this is just a special one that has quality. It's our wand. Our wand is just common for plus 5%. I guess the next question is what... What would... Scale the wand? Magic crystals? Hmm. That's worth looking into. Since this is kind of our wand, getting that quality up to do more magic damage would be worthwhile, at least somewhat. Let's see what this wand comes with. It's a wand of the sorcerer. And it comes with nothing. Specifically sorcery potency. Hmm. Interesting. Next up is dragon stuff. We got dragon skull. Which we made into dragon command staff, dread lich staff, or dragon head. Which then can be used to make the dragon's eye. Which grants fire resistance. Kind of do want fire resistance. Would be nice to have. Plus all the other cool stuff it does. So we wanted to do that. We take Ender Eyes. Ender Pulse, Blaze Powder. We'll see how far we can get with this. We got the Ender Pearls. We barely have the Blaze Powder. I need to figure out what's dropping Blaze Rods and stuff. I think it was like the... Icy Blaze dropped Blaze Rods. Okay. We can take our Dragon Skull. Turn that into a Dragon Head. And then from there, we need four Diamond Swords. Bring in the Enchanted Eyes. We need a Golden Carrot, Iron, Glowing. I think the Glowing is probably going to be the hard part. We just got a little bit. Iron. And a golden carrot. We have some golden carrots. That work. So let's make the Ring of Enchanted Eyes. Which grants night vision just... Yes. We're kind of having our ring slot. We got the earth spells stuff and the max health. It's only it's only 30% more point in forest and roof forests. Switch that one out for now. But now we have permanent night vision. And step height. What is this? Is it silt? Yeah, no silt. Um. Yeah. Anything else is giving us step height. Point two and point two is enough. Mm. I wouldn't think it would be. Max health, max health. Production, dig speed, armor toughness. Max speed, magic resistance, magic shielding. Alright. 
We'll see. We need glowing gems. Oof. Yeah. That's gonna be problematic. We have nine glowing ingots. We need like three blocks of diamonds to make this part, so that's a lot. Yeah, point one step height previously wasn't enough to get us jumping. Now this one is. Let's see if we can find. It's probably gonna be silt, right? We can break down. That requires blaze power, which again we don't have a lot of. Hmm. Well, we've got the. Any breakdown tablets? Disintegration tablets. No. Yeah, it looks like silt can only be made by smashing stuff. Could have gotten a silt from breaking down the flare gun, but still. And an 8% chance from a lootless 2 crate. Which again, not the most likely. So, can't really do much with that right now. Look at the quests here. We got some more repeatable stuff that we can do. I want to take here. Um, take an unbreaking. And magic hunting again. Grand crystals. Some loot crates. Take another break. For apprentice hunting, we need to kill a manticore. And that's it. For nether hunting, we've done very little nether related stuff. Rares, we need Umber Hulk, Rust Monster, Troll, Manticore, Vampire, Flesh, flesh Lich, Bone Knight, and Mimic. That gives you a tome of memory. Ten levels each time. Tons of loot crates. 64 ingots for that. Wow. Master Magic Hunter, we need Witches, Springs, and Baphomets. I feel like we've killed at least some Witches, so I'm not sure why that has zero. Okay. Deadly Beauties. Fight a whole bunch of different things. That gives you four books, my goodness. Wow. Okay. I want to look into... I think it was bases? Which one of these was... Talking about... There it is. The Rift Forging Station. We reveal the bonuses on baubles, weapons, and armor. It takes one ingot of whatever metal they are. It doesn't have an obvious material. Astral diamonds can be used. Okay. Let's see if we can use astral diamonds here. Because I think this could still be silt, though. Astral diamonds does work. Fantastic. So we want to get this down to uncommon. And then we can have night vision instead of this earth thing that we don't use. Common? I mean, we've got the astral diamonds. I'd like to get those effects. So let's go for uncommon. There we go. And eventually we can swap this out for the full dragon deal. Oh, we're still running on top of stuff. change. Didn't think we were previously running over things. Hmm. That's a bit of a waste of diamonds then.
I would have noticed. All right. Weird. Something else must be given stuff by it. Because that's only point 0.2 and point 0.1. Step height. Max attack, armor, knockback shielding, mesh resistance, dig speed, max height, jump height, armor, toughness, max height, dig speed, knockback resistance, luck, armor, dig speed, max health, max health, projectile. Hmm. I wouldn't think that point 0.4 would be. Oh, that's just that's just point 0.3. Ah, it's just chest. It's just chest there slightly taller. Are we okay with point two? No, I'm not gonna change it now. We might have been okay with the point two. Oh well. It's just chests are slightly shorter. Okay, right, that's fine. Might have wasted a few astro diamonds there. Not the biggest deal. It's an unbreaking book. I actually want that. A lot of these in here are not exactly the best enchanted books. Put these over here. Right. Not too much we can go do with this much glowing ingot, so that's unfortunate. Let's open these up. We got steel plated shield, some spell books, and some desks and crystals and such. Steel plated shield, common. Nothing too special. Summon Spirit Wolf, which we already know. Unknown and unknown. Great. We'll get to that. Alright. Then we got permanent night vision, which is pretty fun. Is there a way to turn that off? Some doesn't give attribute modifiers. Hold control to make hold control go away. Okay, sure. Well, since torches don't actually affect spawners. That's actually fine. Not a huge deal. Here's some grand magic crystals. Right. I think we're gonna shelve the bow for now. We have food and water on the bar at the same time, or a water bucket in case we fall in lava. Because we're still not fire resistant. Store the bow and the arrows. That's good. So now we have two extra slots here we could put something in. Don't know if we would want. I think I still want to keep the XP block in the backpack. Also, here's some more things we didn't take out. Right, store the crystals and diamonds. Anything super cool in here? The common diamond shield. Our shield is currently un uncommon, so that's not a huge deal. Oh, this says Mending 2 on it. We will just throw everything in the warehouse and then search for Mending and such. Not that I currently need Mending. Only really use the tools a little bit. Not a huge deal. I think I still do want the water bucket, yeah. Okay. Alright. So now the bag is empty again. We have an ice dragon heart. Ice dragon flesh. Which you make covered in olive oil, I guess. It's decent food, but you don't get a lot of it. So it's not a huge deal. And this is all for the... Dragon Forge thing, which is and that's something we're doing right now. We have silver dragon scales and dragon bones. Now the silver dragon scales we could use to make a piece of equipment. But then we really, really do not have a lot of options for re-rolling if things go south. With six and the way that we can get chance back. 
See if there's anything else we can do with the scales. Dry scales. Made into the things. And then the blocks can be used to make the dragon forge, which is incredibly expensive. So let's make a silver dragon scale helmet. And it's uncommon. That's pretty good. Compared to this to our, sh our current diamond helmet, it's a better quality, has two more armor. That's just really good. Let's see if we can grab some enchants off the helmet. Let's see what it'll give us. Protection and unbreaking. So we would lose the mending and the respiration, which is not ideal. And we don't want to risk trying to do that, so we'll put that away. We did have some stuff in here that was mending. Well, one thing. It's mending too. Let's see if this would actually get the mending. That's the main question. Yeah, it's got the mending too on it. There's also the question of whether, whether I want to make a different item. What would it scrape from the sword right now? Not mending. Mm. We will consider this. We definitely need to get mending on it. It says mending. Alright. That's going to be a adventure in a different area. We're gonna finish up things at the base here first. This is a nice big chest full of spells that we know from all sorts of drops we've gotten and then looked at, identified, all that. Let's see if we can put all these in bookshelves. Arcane Works bench with the nearby bookshelves. So with this you can look through the books. Now we have multiple copies of a lot of these. Don't know if that's super necessary. It's going to take up a lot more bookshelves. Let's see what we can do. Ah, uh, stores multiples in the same spot. Convenient. Okay. But we are going to need additional bookshelves here. These were what? Dark oak. And then you need... Gold nuggets and it was grand magic crystals. Let's make some bookshelves. Then it's like what? This with a crystal? Yeah. That's one additional bookshelf. So we want an even number of bookshelves here. I took six. Yep. Use up a few of these grand magic crystals, but that's okay. Have a nice stack of bookshelves over here. And then probably here. Still counts. That should be enough space. Put the regular books over here. I think there's a different look for the other kinds of books here. Yeah, those are blue. And these are, yep, white. We might actually need more bookshelves. And we can access all of the books here. Grab them out, put them on our wands. Fantastic. Okay, here's one. So whenever we get more books, we're gonna have to come over here and try to put them in the bookshelves. That's okay. 
And that is this chest empty. Very good. Okay. Next chest we have here. We've got one scroll of identification and five unidentified books. Clearly, that is insufficient. To make additional scrolls of identification, we need lustrous pearls, which we can get from Pearl Block's Mystic World, which we can get from Pearl Block Grimmer of Gaia at a stone cutter. So, it's a few extra steps because we have the wrong crystal from wherever we got it. Here is a stone cutter. Here is a pearl block. Which we can turn into a pearl block. And turn the pearl block into pearls. Take another shiny pearl, which is the wrong kind of shiny pearl. Turn the shiny pearl into a lustrous pearl. And we can make a single scroll. We need a blank scroll, which is paper and string. Paper. And string. Lustrous pearls. One scroll of identification. We got Apprentice, 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 and Novice. I guess we'll just grab two Apprentice books here. They're scrolls. And we found Reversal and Empowering Presence. A healing buff and a Necromancy Altercation. Awesome. Didn't have those before, so let's go right in there. So we still have the three books we can't identify. Unfortunate. And lastly, in this chest, we've got this collection of items. Which can be made into something if we use in the right order. Advanced Tome of Arcana. Because we got our Apprentice Wand to full progression. Come over here. And we have an advanced wand. Fantastic. With that, we can look for advanced books. Or not. Um, sort by... Sort by tier. Master, master, master. We have Vex Swarm, which is probably better than Skeletons. Apprentice, Apprentice, Apprentice. Scroll down. Glide is apparently advanced. Look at that. Mage Light is a buff. We've already looked at all the Apprentice stuff before. Let's see what we have to work with here. Vex Swarm, Glide, and Mage Light. So I'm going to swarm flying Vexes to fight for you, and the Vexes will disappear after 30 seconds if they're killed. That sounds pretty cool. Glide. Let's cast her to glide downwards while in the air and holding the Use Item button. Convenient. Contra a hovering light source above the caster. I mean, we literally have night vision now, so that's definitely not one we want. But Glide and Vex Swarm. Potentially. What can really have on here? We got Flame Ray, Lightning Arrow, Summon Skeleton, Dark Vision, and Grapple. We don't need Dark Vision at all. And I don't think Summon Skeleton's actually particularly useful. So I'm going to. Do a Vex Swarm instead of the Skeletons. And Glide instead of dark vision. And 
And then do the books go back in here? Oh, they went in the wrong slots, but okay, good enough. And one of these is gone. So we, we did take them out, so that makes sense. Okay, so now we have Flame Ray, Grapple, Glide, Vex Swarm, Lightning Arrow. Let's see how Glide works. Slowly going down. And a Vex Swarm. Like, how, ma how many are we talking here? Oh boy. At least three. Don't go, don't go, don't go fighting anything, please. The summons seem to be pretty good at not running all over crazy like. Okay. And our attack spell is still lightning arrow. And flame ray. Which I mean it's not bad. Keep summon on Vex Swarm, why not? Okay. That's the end of that chest. We got some new spells on our advanced wand. Very good. Alright. Next up, I'm taking these items. Plus, we'll bring an anvil and the reforging station. Dump some. It's only two, I think. Put XP in the XP block. Because we are heading back to the inn. For some very important trades. With these astral diamonds. DNA and hot spring. There. Over here, in the bath, is the elven fighter that trades astro diamonds for all sorts of good stuff. Dragon bones and wither bones. It takes 50 minutes to trade again. Oh no. That's not ideal. Right, we got two wither bones. Should have brought should have brought the string. Would have been an idea. And then you have magic crystals for swirls. Right, let's go get the magic crystals again. Monument. I need magic crystals, I need string, I need wool. Right, magic crystals, why not? String. Wool. I think I need wood to make the handle. Sticks. Or leather. Leather or wool. Nice handle. Get some sticks. Head back through here. gonna take 50 minutes huh that sure is a lot of time of keeping the game open and not playing the game 
to trade. But okay. Yeah, take. One of these scrolls. Okay. We have two wither bones. Two wither bones in total. Wither bones can make some crazy stuff out of these Miramix things. And then used as a handle. Just a regular handle for the fire dragon steel and ice dragon steel. And dragon bone. Cockatry scepter. Witherbone pole. Witherbone handle. Soul lanterns. Soul torches. Okay. Dragon bone. I'm just going to go with the great sword. It's two handed. So until we get the vitamins, we won't be able to use. A shield or anything, but our current shield's not super important, so that's okay. It also has reach and wide attacks. So all targets in sweep range take 100% damage. And it has increased range. So that's all good stuff. There's other pretty decent options here, like... The Warhammer has armor piercing. But it doesn't have reach or sweep. This one has nauseous blow. There's a lot of interesting options. I'm just going to go with the Dragonbone Greatsword. So for that, I need a Witherbone Handle. For that, I need a Witherbone and a Handle. For the Handle, we have a Handle. I need a crafting table out. Handle plus Witherbone. Witherbone Handle. Uses a lot of dragon bones, so that's okay. To make a dragon bone greatsword. Ever so slightly slower, but significantly stronger. And then it also has the reach and wide attack instead of the chest damage bonus. So, and it doesn't have damage absorption either, but still, it's pretty good. So I'm going to make the Dragonbone Greatsword, and it's common. So we brought the Reforging Station. If this is going to be our weapon, we definitely want it to be better than common. And I don't really think I'm too worried about making other Dragonbone stuff right now. A dragon bone pickaxe. We have a diamond pickaxe. That's good enough. We have an iron axe. That's fine. So we're going to put these in here. I would love to get rare. We don't have that many dragon bones. I'll probably just settle for uncommon. I hope. Or we can get epic. That's pretty epic. We don't have enough wither bones to actually even make the pickaxe anyway, so. Save those for later. There is an epic dragon bone greatsword. See, we have mining fatigue four. So, steel's tower shield. No longer required. Now the situation is that we need to get sharpness, unbreaking, and mending onto this epic greatsword. We're gonna place down our XP block. We're gonna place down the anvil. We have unbreaking, so that's not a huge problem. I would like to. This doesn't have sharpness. We could go and see what the initial enchant is going to be on here. That's probably worthwhile. How much longer are you trading? 12 seconds. Okay. 
we'll get another... If we wait another five minutes, we get the last identification scroll we need for right now. We're gonna just come back for it. get a decent initial enchant on here. That would be ideal. Of course. What do you got for me today at level 30 enchant? Soul Binding 4. Hmm. Not super excited about that. Not, not particularly excited. We have protection and unbreaking here. So what I really need is sharpness. We have a lot of things that are sharp. Maybe we can find something to scrape off of there. Sharpness two. We search by levels of sharpness. Ooh. The silver glaive has sharpness five. And so does the Dust Axe. Just as I'm breaking five. 20 attack damage, but slower. And it can be used as an axe. Doesn't have reach or wide attack. Let's put some stuff back down. Old anvil. Slightly damaged anvil. Anvil, forging station. Speed block. What would you say if we put in the dust axe? For 10 levels we can get sharpness. Hmm. We took the silver one. That would also just give us sharpness. This would give us m mending, which we definitely want. That's 20 levels. Scraping this would not give us mending right now. These will always give us, well, most likely give us sharpness 5, either way. We don't quite have enough experience. Soul binding. Maybe level 30. And we'll try a different enchant. Give me some leather caps to play with. If we can just get a quick sharpness on this, that'll tell us what we really need to work on. So. One enchant here. That's a very good leather cap. Smite 4. No, not what I want. Protection 5. Soul Binding again. Really, really not very useful. Protection three. Soul binding five. Mm. Not really giving me a regular sharpness. So I'm breaking three scavenger. There's mending two. Should probably just take that. Maybe. Clever here. We got an unbreaking three book. That's decent. All right. Silver katana. Grab that mending two. It's got looting five too. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. 
We got unbreaking. We got mending. This is still not giving me mending on this, so we'll probably just save that for now. We'll break down. Let's see if we can get this. Sharpness 5. It's not taking the unbreaking 5, so we're just gonna take this one instead. Cost 10 levels. Silver Glaive, Sharpness 5, I'm breaking, looting, mending, and Sharpness 5. That's still not. I don't know if that actually changes. Yeah, either way. We're gonna need more of those. Okay. Dragonbone Greatsword with Sharpness 5. Unbreaking three. Looting and mending. 15 levels on that. Looting and mending. Now that's a sword. Sharpness five epic dragon bone long sword. Well, dragon bone great sword, rather. It's got double the attack damage, only slightly lower speed, but again, it's got faster speed and more attack damage and more reach by another level over that. That's very good. Can't really use the new helmet without mending. Don't have any mending. Okay. Got 23 levels here. We could play around with more enchanting stuff. The diamond saber. Pretty good. Dragon scale helmet. Save for later. Let's see what lockers we can put over in this chest. We have some more unbreakings here, but pretty sure unbreaking three is gonna be good enough. Should be able to manage with that. The Astro Diamond's away. I might just go hang out over there for a while. Get more of all those. And we had a few scrolls of identification. Two of the books. We'll grab the last one and go get another one when we go over there. Yep. Ruined spell books, quest books, books, enchanted books, book of ten more levels. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Looks good. Last thing I wanted to try was getting more of the seeds. I need some steaks. And depending on how many steaks this was, but we need a lot of steaks. Let's take all of them. And bone meal. Just some regular bones. We have 107 chili peppers and four additional seeds. Let's see if we can get this to work right. We got the peppers here. I was thinking maybe two steaks. It's not seem to be going up the next steak. If we planted our seed up there. Yeah, this is just making more peppers. Try breaking the steak itself. got four seeds and we have five seeds let's take all the peppers it needs to be more than just one more is the thing no, let's see where we got seven 
I have nine. There we go. So breaking the vines does give us more chili. Perfect. I don't know how we were messing that up earlier then. Let's put some sticks down here. It's gonna be slightly awkward. Harvesting the chilies like this. It needs to be like fully grown. And then you can break it off to get more seeds. Fully grown. Break the whole thing. One seed. Fully grown. One seed. Luckily, we don't have to do this a whole bunch of times. There's two. Just need a few more seeds here. It's, looks like it's at least always one, but sometimes more than one. There we go. We'll need to do this a few times, and then we'll have enough seeds that we can... Simply just let it grow itself. Two seeds there. Three seeds. Four seeds. need just three more seeds then we'll have three rows of chilies growing over here that should be enough then we can make all of the current meat that we can make and that'll be a good food source it does make me want to farm up any zombie spawners that we find because zombie spawners is going to be very good food now. There we go. That'll work. Put the steaks away. Put the potatoes away. Put the bones away. Yeah, we need to figure out what we're going to put in these extra inventory spaces. We have so much roof activities now. Look up chili peppers. Look up rotten flesh. We can go over here and make meat. I don't know if spicy rotten flesh is all it's cracked up to be, but when it works, it works. When it works, it works. Pro tip for everyone watching from home, do not grind chili peppers into rotten meat that you find. It's not going to go well. Give me enough levels to come back. Okay. Let's go back to the inn with enough levels to come back when we're done. Astral diamonds and everything. Do Fantastic. Right. With the dragon bones, we really don't need to make a bow or a crossbow or any other weapon. So realistically, we only need enough dragon bones to make a shovel, a pickaxe, a hoe, I guess, and an axe. And then enough 
on top of that to reforge them into like at least not terrible thirty one minutes until we get these what we really need is the wither bones to make those two we got one so that's gonna be at least three maybe four wither bones So we'll probably just get four sets of wither bones and the accompanying four sets of dragon bones. That should be enough. So I'm going to chill out here in the bath for another three and a half hours, I guess, with my enormous greatsword. We're just over here. Jumping around with our enormous weapons. Me and Azina. The half of them. Fighter. Alright. So, last. Every once in a while, we can go over there and grab another identification scroll. I don't even know how many we haven't identified yet. Fire Sigil, Contra Block, Frost Ray. Cool. All right. So we will get the things we need together to make a suite of dragon bone tools, and we're not going to be trying to reforge this into anything better. Epic is pretty great. We'd have a divine striking iron axe, which would be amazing. Any amount of extra reach distance on something with wide attacks, that's just fantastic. And 75% attack damage, 50% attack speed. If I could steal the Divine Striking off of this Iron Axe and put it on this Dragon Bone Greatsword, I absolutely would. Epic is still very acceptable. Oh, we're freezing. It's supposed to be a hot spring. It's supposed to be a hot spring. Immersion ruined. So. Anyways. Whole bunch more dragon bones, and wither bones, swirls of identification, everything you could ever dream of. And then we can return to looking for wolves and such next time. Goodbye.